Cornea Anterior chamber Iris Pupil Lens Ciliary body Vitreous chamber Retina Optic nerve Choroid Sclera Conjunctiva The eye has many different parts. Each part plays an important role. The cornea is a clear outer layer at the front of the eye. It covers the iris and the pupil. This part of the eye helps you to focus light so that you can see clearly. The anterior chamber is a space between the iris and the cornea. It's filled with aqueous humor. The iris is the colored part of the eye. It regulates how much light enters the eye. The iris is made up of tiny muscles known as circular and radial muscles. In bright light, the circular muscles contract and radial muscles relax. This means the iris closes the pupil so less light enters the eye. In dim light, the circular muscles relax and radial muscles contract. This means the iris opens up the pupil so more light enters the eye. The pupil is a small black part of the eye. It works with the iris to control how much light enters into the eye. The control of light entering the eye is important because too much or too little light can both affect vision. The lens, or also known as the crystalline lens, is just behind the pupil. It's colorless and transparent. The lens helps you to focus light directly onto the retina. The ciliary body is an extension of the iris. It functions to produce a fluid called aqueous humor. It also contains ciliary muscles, which change the shape of the lens. This is important because the shape of the lens will change depending on whether you're looking at something far or something near. This will help you to focus on what you're looking at. The vitreous chamber is behind the lens. It's a large space filled with vitreous humor. This is a clear jelly-like material that fills the eyeball. The vitreous chamber helps to support the round shape of the eye. It also helps to transmit light directly onto the retina. The retina is a light sensitive layer that lines the back of the inside of the eye. The retina receives the light that has passed through the pupil and has been focused by the lens. This light is converted into neural signals. There's a part of the retina called the macula. This is a small part, about five millimeters, and is responsible for central vision, fine detail, and color vision. This is because the macula has a high concentration of photoreceptors. The optic nerve is a sensory nerve that carries signals to the visual cortex of the brain for visual recognition. The visual cortex then turns the signals into images. The layer above the retina is called the choroid. This is a vascular layer that supplies the outer retina with a sufficient blood supply and nutrients. Sclera. It's a tough and fibrous protective layer. It also allows the eye to form a solid structure. It's continuous from the cornea all the way to the back of the eye covering the optic nerve. The conjunctiva is a membrane that covers part of the front of the eye and the inner surfaces of the eyelids. 
This membrane provides protection and also lubricates the eye by producing mucus and tears. Therefore, it plays a huge role in protecting the eye from infections. The movement of the eye is controlled by six muscles. Superior rectus, medial rectus, inferior rectus, lateral rectus, superior oblique, and inferior oblique. Before we look at the movements of each muscle, it's important to learn a few words. Adduct means the eye turns inwards. Abduct means the eye turns outwards. Elevate means the eye moves up. Depress means the eye moves down. Intort means the eye rotates medially. Extort means the eye rotates laterally. The superior rectus elevates the eye. It also contributes to adduction and intortion. The medial rectus adducts the eye. The inferior rectus depresses the eye. It also contributes to adduction and extortion. The lateral rectus abducts the eye. The superior oblique depresses, abducts and intorts the eye. The inferior oblique elevates, abducts and extorts the eye. An easy way to remember the functions of the muscles is to remember the word RADSIN. Medial and lateral rectus functions are easy to remember. However, the rest of the muscles can be confusing. RADSIN stands for recti adduct superiors in taut. So we know the superior rectus and inferior rectus adduct, whereas the superior oblique and inferior oblique abduct. Superior muscles, so the superior rectus and superior oblique, both in the eye, whereas the inferior muscles, inferior rectus and inferior oblique, extort.